Oh, where do I begin with this? So this this video is something that I've wanted to film for the last week or so. So bear with me for the next few minutes because I don't typically script videos uh, at all, really. <laughs> um, to preface this, I'd like to say that for the last 30 years, I've been living for everyone else in the room but myself. And I'd like to kind of live what years I have left um, a bit more for myself and kind of find my own happiness. And this journey that I've been on the last few years has led me to some of that. Um, so let's uh, dive into this. So uh, I guess we'll start at the beginning here of this journey, right? All stories begin at the beginning, unless they're terribly written. So, during the beginning of the pandemic, I came out as pansexual. Um, my sexuality is something that I kind of hinted at or alluded to, or even discussed with a few of my closest IRL friends uh, before coming out publicly, so to speak. I, uh, I've known for years, literally since high school, that I wasn't exactly straight, but it was kind of like where in that, that fucking entire spectrum did I actually place myself. For a while, I thought, well, maybe I might be bi, but I lean more towards being pansexual as what I identify as. Then fast forward a few months, I kind of ex started exploring like the gender identity side of things right because at this point we're like early rona we're thinking well maybe we won't even survive this especially here in america where a lot of us were complete idiots so i started like well maybe maybe i'm gender fluid because i do like being more femme sometimes oh uh, i kind of started a femboy phase i'm like no that's not exactly it. I still do lean femme sometimes, but not always. So I'm like, I might be somewhere in between. I lean more towards non-binary. That's what I've kind of landed on there. So why, why the name change? Why, why Vex, right? It's a name that I poached from my best friend actually this is something i discussed on the, the last podcast if you tuned into the very end you kind of got a little bit of the background here uh so it, i chose it more because it's a little bit more androgynous in nature and it kind of starts stripping away the last bit of ties to my old self i've always wanted to change my name that was just a out of what to. For the longest time, I thought, well, maybe I'll change it to what I used for my gamer tag for the longest time. Uh, actually, until here quite recently, which would have been Dante. But that doesn't really fit who I am anymore. Uh, I want to live this kind of almost completely androgynous life um, where I skirt the lines of mask and them and that's the perfect name to uh, kind of live that life and be happy and at peace with myself instead of living like the solely bullshit life that i've lived for 30 years to make everybody but myself happy so, <clears throat> this kind of video is just a way of clearing my thoughts and clearing the air of what's been going on behind the scenes and like all the changes to my handles and everything, but also to kind of explain uh, where my thought process is, where my mindset is, and to kind of welcome you into this journey here, if you so choose to follow it. Um, this is just a way to, if this is something you identify with or kind of latch on to, I, I urge you to explore who you truly are. There's no shame in doing that. That's part of life. Character growth, growth as yourself, exploring who you are and being 
happy is all part of what we really need to do as humans. So, until the next video, peace.